I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. Here is an excellent test question based on related rates. The question here is, we will refer to the diagram given to us here. Coffee is draining from a conical filter into a cylindrical pot at a rate of 10 inches cube per minute. So that's the conical filter and this is your cylindrical pot. Now both have same diameters, right? The height of the cone is 6 inches. Part of the question is, how fast is the level in the pot rising when the coffee in the cone is 6 meter deep? And part B is, how fast is the level in the cone falling when the coffee in the cone is 5 inch deep? Right. So, in both the cases, we are trying to figure out situation when this is 5 inches, correct? So, we began with the full pot of 6 inch height. And now, when it is 5 inches, we want to know what is the situation, right? So, I hope now uh, the situation is clear to you. Let's try to figure out the solution. So, let's do part A, which says, How fast is the level in the pot rising when coffee in the cone is 5 meter deep? Okay. Now, we are given that the the drainage from this cone is is a change in volume so change in volume is basically 10 inch cube per minute now in part a when we want to find how fast is the level of the pot rising so this is positive since we are filling in at this rate right now the the idea here is that the volume of cylinder is pi r square h. So that is the volume in case we have this. Now in this case, r is always constant, right? So for a cylinder, r is constant. So rate of change of volume with respect to time will be pi r square dh dt. Do you see that part? So therefore, it is directly proportional to the rate at which the coffee is dripping. Perfect. So we need to find how fast the level in the pot is rising when the coffee in the cone is 5 meter deep. Well, we can straight away figure out this. So we have dh dt as equal to, uh, we can divide by pi r square and we have here dv dt. Perfect. Now r is fixed. r is for us r equals to 3, half of 6. So we can just substitute these values. We get 1 pi 3 square and dv dt is 10. And the answers will be in inches per minute. So let's use the calculator and find the answer. So we need to divide 10 by pi and then divide by 3 square which is 9. So we get around 0 0.35 inches per minute. Correct. So it is a constant rate at which it, the height is going to increase and that is going to be 10 by 9 pi. So exact value basically is is basically uh, you could also write that 10 by 9 pi inches per minute so that is the exact value this is the approximate value correct okay now let's do part B of this particular question how fast is the level in the cone falling when the coffee in the cone is 5 inch deep now in the case of a cone both radius and height changes. Do you see that? So, so this is the tip, right? So we are now seeing that the radius and the height will change. In this particular case, let us say when it is 5 up, then at any instance, let's take height as h and r is the radius, right? So from here, 
since we want to find how fast is the level in the pot rising so we are interested in height so we can always say that radius over height is equal to radius is 3 and height is 6 from similar triangles right so from similar triangles so this big triangle is similar to the the smaller triangle big triangle radius is 3 and this is 6 and here r and h do you see that so from here we can write that r is equals to half of h right so we have a relation r is half of h volume of a cone is one third of pi r square h since we know that r is half of h we could change this as one third pi r becomes half of h whole square times h so the volume of the cone cannot be written as uh, one third pi half square is one over four h square in h gives us h cube correct so which is one over you can say pi over right 12 h cube right now how fast is the level of the pot rising when the coffee in the cone is five meter deep now when it is five meter deep we know that the change in volume is decreasing right so in this particular case it is important to note that dv dt is because it is decreasing we'll have to take this as negative inch cube per meter minute right so if i differentiate now with respect to time i get dv dt equals to pi by 12 times 3h square dh dt is that clear to you so now we know the height we know height should be 5 we know dv dt is minus 10 and uh, so we can easily find dh dt right so we can isolate so this is 10 minus for us and we have pi by 12 times 3 and height is 5 square and we need to find dh dt is that clear to you so just rearrange and get your answer so we get dh dt is equal to uh, so we get uh, this we get minus definitely and here we can write this as 3 times pi times 25 which is 5 square over 12 right <clears throat> yeah. so dh this will come in the denominator i'm sorry so dhdt will be this will come in the denominator 12 will go in the numerator so dhdt will be minus 10 times 12 divided by 25 into 3 23 i could have simplified over pi is it okay We'll just use calculator to find this answer now. So we have 120 divided by 75, which is 8 over 5 pi, right? So uh, let me just push this a bit here. So we do get as minus 8 over 5 pi. Uh, now divide by pi decimal value is minus 0. Point, you can say 51 inches inches per minute correct so that becomes the solution for the given question so here you can rearrange so dh dt will be your divide by all this correct you could have simplified a bit before going forward but that's okay so you get a negative value that means the height is decreasing right that's what it means so i hope with this you understand how to solve such questions feel free to write a comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best